Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Buckle up, everyone. Should be a hard-hitting Western Conference clash tonight. James, these teams traditionally play really low-scoring, very physical games. I would suspect it will be that way. These points up for grabs in the Western Conference are critical. Officials made his way here to center in this first period is about set to go. The Jets start with possession as we are now underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Connor. Puck picked up by Nugent Hopkins. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Here he is from the slot, and that's blocked. Puck grabbed by DeMello. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. McDavid's got the puck through the neutral zone. Slides it on over to Bear. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Move to the middle. Big save. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. The Oilers look to start the transition game. And well, that didn't take long. Yeah, early in the game, looks like each team trying to get an upper hand. pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Well, the road team will probably get a lift there. Their guy did a nice job in that tilt. Well, cooler heads finally prevailing here as both teams step inside the face-off circle. The Jets win it. Taken by four. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Nice calling him out. Did he ever? This is this is gonna get heated. One guy throws the challenge down. You don't have to take it, especially these days. Along the half wall with the puck. Cops getting two unsportsmanlike conduct the call. It's a little bit of an embarrassment when you've got to serve one of these. Yeah. He'll have to regroup in the penalty box. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Hasn't been much to choose in this tied game tonight, but this is the first opportunity for the top-ranked power play to get to work. Strong defensive effort. Picked up along the boards by Puglia. Takes a shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. The Jets looking against the half wall, and he makes the save. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Neal's got it along the wing. Nowhere for that shot to go through. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Off target! Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Play with... Oh, getting a little cheeky there. Here we go. James, I was really good at this. Not the fight part. I mean the first part where someone else comes in and fights for you. <laughs> Him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. The Jets will want to build on that. On the road, you want to be as aggressive as you possibly can. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Jets win the draw. The Oilers come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock.
Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Stastny's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. And he regains control of the puck. Edmonton's gained possession. Here's a short pass to Yamamoto. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Into the attacking area from the left side. To his teammate, and he scores! What a shot! Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. Winnipeg's hard work in this opening period pays off. Uh, right when the anthem finished, these guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Can't keep a hold of it. And now it's grabbed by Cassian. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. No one home on that play. The Oilers take over on possession. Just a simple save by Hellebuck. Neal's got it deep in the offensive end. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And that's blocked at the blue line. Now, problem with this, James, is everybody's heading out of the zone. Now they've got to regroup, get back to their own defensive position. Hellebuck's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Past the midway mark in this period. Winnipeg's ahead, 1-0. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. And he takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The setters will glide into the dot. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Puck scooped up by Larson. Pushes it across to Archibald. Moves it quickly over to Kara. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Shifley. And now he passes up to Wheeler. He's got a step. And scores on the breakaway. Beautiful. He got out ahead of the pack. And now all that's left is to finish this great opportunity. And he does. Looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep in the net, and the puck beats him with the shot. The Jets have widened this gap here in the first. What a terrific start for them as they've been the better team in the first part of this game. The Oilers win it. Puck picked up by Jones. Quick feed to Larson. Moves the puck along the half wall. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Snaps it onto the net, denies him again. Hellebuck's helping out everybody here. The defense doesn't have to worry about the front of the net anymore. The puck's in the corner. And he easily stops that one. Save made by the goalie. Lowry's back at it after serving that major penalty for fighting. He gets a shot on goal. Across the line from center. Moves inside! His reflexes on display tonight. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Can't connect. Receives the pass. And now he angles it across to Yamamoto. Here's a blast. Denies him with the save. The Oilers have the puck now. Cahoon's got it in the defensive end. And now he passes it to Yamamoto. 
They've got the defense outnumbered. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. The Jets ready to go on the attack. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Puck grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. The Oilers continue to be in the right place at the right time. Another intercepted pass. Cuts to the paint. Denies it in front. Taken by Kopp. Winnipeg's got possession at center. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. That's all she wrote on the first period of play as the horn sounds. The Jets backed up all that talk from the morning skate. They wanted to get off to a good start. They certainly have done just that, leading by a pair of goals. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun Between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. Shifley's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Gets it out of his own end. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Takes it to the net. Gives them nothing in front. Great reflexes, another save. Hellebuck's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Stones him in front. Sharp reaction save. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a short pass to Shifley. Slides it across to Connor. Here he is on a breakaway. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. That's a good feeling for the shooter. He gets out in the clear on the breakaway and he doesn't miss. Excellent snapshot past the goalie. Winnipeg's on cruise control now. Is that fair to say? It is, and it looks like they're going to try and get another couple of goals here. They're not letting down at all. Musa quickly over to Forborg. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. The Jets are on the attack. Here he is in front. Scores! This is unbelievable. It's turning into a lot of four straight goals for them as they take total control of this game. The good thing he one-times his puck, the goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Winnipeg's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. And now it's grabbed by Pionk. The Jets will play it in their own end. Here's a chance. Slides it across. Scores! His second of the night. Well, things go well for you if you score multiple times in a game. This has been a terrific night for him. Wow, this is like a practice drill here, James. He's so open at the high slot. The pass is on the shooting spot, and he just hammers it home. Edmonton's going to make a change in goal. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. The Jets have come to play, and they show no signs of slowing down here in the second. No, and there's still enough time left that you can't take your foot off the gas. Keep pushing forward. Puck scooped up by Pionk. Takes the feed. And now it's over to Kopp. Couldn't complete the play. The Jets take possession in the defensive end. And now he moves it to Ehlers. Can't get a hold of that pass. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Sends the pass over. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. The Jets have played pretty consistently throughout this game. Now they've increased their lead, I think in large part, by the way that they've played the body. Winnipeg's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Quick shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. Stays with it, moves it to Perot, and couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. The Oilers take it along the wing. Forces the turnover. Slides it diagonally to Appleton. Makes a move in front. Hangs onto the puck. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Takes a shot. And that banks off a stick. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Good hit on the play. Torres grabs a new stick from the bench and he's right back into the play. Quick feed to Appleton. And they fail to go tape to tape. And sends it just out of reach. Quick pass to Perot. Feeds the puck across to Appleton. Centering pass in front and makes the save. Huge steal in his own end. Winnipeg's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Stopped by the goaltender. Slides the puck ahead to Pugliarvi. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Comes up with the stop. Hellebuck's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. McDavid's job here is to see if he can inject some life into his team. As the leader of this club, you have to help them find a way out of this big hole. Puck picked up by DeMello. Morrissey's taking it from his own end. Here's an odd man rush. Tipped in front. Huge stop by Smith. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. The Jets have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Winnipeg's got it and they're on the attack. Rips it. Denies him. He got all of it. Scooped up along the wall by DeMello. Big save by the goaltender once again. Here in the back half of this period, one-sided, lopsided, blowout, you name it. 5 nothing is where we're sitting. Edmonton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Puck grabbed by Shifley. The Oilers have it from their own end. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Taken by Shifley. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Archibald's got the puck along the wing. The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Bears lugging the puck. The Jets have it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Shifley. Here's a shot! No room for that one to get through. Kara's got the puck in his own zone. Taken by Archibald. He carries the puck up along the wing. It's a two-on-one. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. A howitzer. Great stop by Smith. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Easy save by Smith. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. The Jets have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. 
slides it to Yamamoto. Gains the zone from the right side. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Lowry. Couldn't make that one happen. The Oilers look to start the transition game. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Taken along the wall by Nurse. And now he tries to get it across to Dreisaitl. Tampers flaring. Yeah, a little bump together, a little friction. Looks like the guys want to get it going. Nurse is not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. Harkins is getting handed two minutes for an unsportsmanlike. When the ref slaps this T on you, it jolts you because you don't think you're in that spot. Once it's called, it's kind of embarrassing. And a long skate back to the bench when it's over. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Hey fans, great tickets are still available to our next home game. Please visit the box office and get the well they last. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Perot. I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. Winnipeg's penalty killers have their work cut out for them here. But a nice start to the period as they win the draw. Boston twig. He puts everything behind this. He's got it right in his wheelhouse. And then the stick just craters on him. Back at the point, they set it up. Stopped by the goaltender. Grabbed along the board by McDavid. Again, the denial by the goaltender. No, sir. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. The Jets have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Shot! Whoa. He scores! A shorthanded marker! I don't think the penalty killers ever really look for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. Manny laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. Winnipeg's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Made that stop. Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal in that power play. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Makes the glove stop. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Winnipeg's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. Denies them with the blocker. What a stop by Hillebuck. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. The Oilers grab possession to the puck. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Pulley has got it into offensive territory. 
Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of it. Nice pass. Looks to make a play over to Stanley. Slides the puck across to Kopp. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Cuckoo stick handling in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Cahoon. The Oilers move it in. Let's it go with the stop. Winnipeg's looking to break out. And that pass goes awry. He scores! Just how he threw it up there, Ray. Oh, yeah, he's that accurate. He should do it more often. He just shot the thing, and it went off the post and in. I think he looks like he's landing an airplane there, James. He waves his glove at the puck. It still goes into the net. The Jets have been whipping their opponents all night long, and it continues here in the third. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind their bench right now. Shot on net, and there's the save. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. With possession along the wall. Easy pass save made by Smith. Hellebuck's hands are quick. He uses his stick to make this save on the scoring chance. The Jets' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Perot. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Here he is on the backhand. Scores! Good things come to those that way. Yeah, finally rewarded for all the work they did around the front of the net and in the offensive zone there. And finally able to punch through. You got to get into the middle of the ice to score. He's in the low slot and he whips the backhander past the goalie. Edmonton's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. The Oilers played along the wing. Kevin physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Handles the puck. Morrissey's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. Here's a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Appleton's picking up steam. All alone. Scores! Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up and he finishes his breakaway beautifully. Here's the one-on-one -on -one game. The goalie thinks he's gonna deep, but he beats him with a quick shot. Winnipeg's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. From the right side, they gain the zone. Pucked up Dick. Number 13, Dubois. Time of the goal, 11 minutes, 50 seconds. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Turns it away. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Gilles Levesque blows the whistle and someone is off to the box. Boarding is the call and Ray is a tough one to argue. He follows through a little bit high, a little bit hard, and it made a lot of noise, so they're off the call. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. 
Well, you gave up the shorthanded goal earlier, James. Nothing they can do about that, but they've been given a power play opportunity here. See if they can equal up their special teams game. Oh, it looks like he's banged up there. He's going to try and finish the shift, but he's pretty clearly not at 100%. He scores! Even under man, they deliver. Yeah, it's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive, they get up the ice, and are able to score while down a man. Man, his teammate could get rich with passes like this. What a move that opens up everybody. And then he lays off a simple one for him. Winnipeg's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Taken by Ehlers. Just slide to the net. Picked up along the wall by Morrissey. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. With the steal. Quick pass across to Lowry. On the attack along the boards. Couldn't connect on that pass. Puck scooped up by Ehlers. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. What breakaway. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. It's like he almost deeped himself out. There was nowhere to go with it. The goalie makes the save. Interference is the call. Intentions were good, though, I would think. Yeah, but you gotta realize I'm in the wrong spot. I can't get in the way like he did. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry. They get over the boards in a hurry. Edmonton's won the draw and tries to make a diagonal pass to Bear. Here he is, wrestling on net. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores! Put the special now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They move the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. The Oilers still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the oh, end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Goal. On the power Tries to feed it over to Yamamoto. Assisted by number 22. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Yamamoto. Centered out in front, and they can't connect. And all alone on the breakaway. Scores! Whoa! Well, this is a great reaction, James. He doesn't have much time to finish it off. He makes a perfect shot. Once you escape the pack, it's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He's trying to read you. You're trying to read him. The shooter wins this time. on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side where this night has been a nightmare. Shifley's won the draw. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. And now he angles it across to Wheeler. Move to the middle! Denies him on the slapper! Picked up along the boards by Morrissey. There's another stop! Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. He gets that one too! Bears got it through the neutral zone. A chance! Wide! Edmonton's frustration is starting to boil over here. Late in the third period, they know they're behind because they've missed too many scoring chances. Scooped up along the wall by Perot. Karras moving the puck through his own zone. The Oilers play it along the boards. And he totally whiffs on that one. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Puck picked up by Dubois. 
along the right side into the offensive zone. Can't catch up to the pass. Edmonton's got the puck. Here's a shot. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Well, they get the win and really controlled many of the small areas of the game. They were good in the faceoff. Their center ice position is such a strength for them. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.